Every once in a while, you will come across a game that exceeds your expectations. And CrossCode was definitely that game for me most recently. Oh my god! The graphics! I was really happy when I first heard about CrossCode from a lovely friend named Adam. And I had no idea what to expect. In fact, I was actually very scared to start playing this game because I wasn't sure that I would enjoy it just because I knew that I was awful at puzzle games. And CrossCode definitely had a great amount of puzzles enough throughout the game. But nope. CrossCode took me by the hand and led me into a magical world that I would happily re-enter any time. Being a cheater is as bad as it is. But seeing a Spearomancer displaying such dishonest behavior, it breaks my heart! What? We Spearomancers! Oh, he's a Spearomancer! Interesting. So he does the balls attack too. Are a noble yet unappreciated class! I can't allow a player like you to further damage our reputation! Wait, you're a Spearomancer too? Dot 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 dot. Why, of course! Don't you see my striking crimson outfit? Oh my god, I'm spinning everywhere. I'm glad that my camera actually can't see all of this because I have saliva going everywhere. It's my style! It's plain to see that fashion is beyond your grasp! Sure. Anyway, I'm done talking to you, blue haired Spearomancer. I feel like we're gonna become friends. I have a good feeling about this. Leah. I challenge you to a duel! If you put water into a fountain, it becomes the fountain. If you become if you put water in the fountain, it becomes the fountain. Yes. Be water, my friend. That sounds like poetry. Aw oh, yeah, that was sick girl. Hi! May your mushrooms always be sauteed and your onions always be grilled. Gravy girl! I like this guy. I wish he was in my party. <gasps> he reminds me of Naruto. Oh dear! Wow, there's so many people here all the time. It's like a real MMORPG where there's so many characters running past you all the time. I only have about 10 hours of gameplay in CrossCode so far, but I can already see myself putting in so many more hours. And that is why I feel that it is absolutely necessary to start this review right here, right now, to tell you about the magical world that I had stepped foot into. CrossCode is described as a retro-inspired 2D action RPG set in the distant future. CrossCode combines 16-bit SNES-style graphics with butter-smooth physics, a fast-paced combat system, and engaging puzzle mechanics served with a side of a gripping sci-fi story. You can already tell that CrossCode will have a very emotional, deep storyline. You start the game playing as Shizuka, who looks like a cross between a cyborg and a human, and she seems to be on a hunt to find her brother. But sadly, within 15 minutes of the game, she does find him. But it does seem to be too late because he's already taking his very last breath. The plot of CrossCode is what really made me want to play it the most. The basis of this story is what I would like to describe as every gamer's fantasy absolute dream life. You do start the game playing as a mute avatar named Leah, who can't speak many words besides saying Leah, hi, hello, wait, bye, simple words like that but she is a protagonist who looks like the absolute perfect model for any cosplayer. She's complete with an awesome cyborg-like headgear and bright blue hair that is tied into a long ponytail. You do wake up with an amnesia with no memories of your past at all, and you'll find yourself inside a boat and then you'll discover that you're in Cross Worlds, which is actually the fictional world inside a very popular MMORPG game. And soon after that, a little voice inside your headgear or a little voice inside your head, who is actually an AI by the name of Sarji, he will inform you that in order to regain your memory, you will most likely 
play the game and then try to gather bits and pieces of the puzzle that will lead you to remembering your past. The reason you are here, Leah, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory and we are trying to recover it. Oh, yikes. I am stuck in this world, actually. You see? You've been in this game before. Being logged into the game, there's a chance you might remember your past. And that is why we will try to get you into the real playground very soon. When I first saw CrossCode, I was absolutely amazed. I was a big fan of the old SNES games like Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, things like Chrono Trigger, Legend of Mana, the old Sailor Moon games on the SNES ROMs. But what surprised me when I saw CrossCode was, it kind of just looks like those games, but more enhanced and with a better combat system, a amazing storyline, a treasure trove of quests and side stories. It's a level 8 quest. Henry the researcher asked us to help him with his analysis of Autumn's Rise, this map area, by exploring and probing the area. And we have to finish the task, finish the collect quest, Finish the defeat quest, finish the landmark quest, and the data probe quest. Tons of cool cutscenes. Daubers like you messing with my ship are on the bloody top of my list of concerns. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This cargo ship is not part of the bloody playground. Ooh. Did he just smash him to pieces? An amazing character progression system that allows you to unlock different abilities as you level up in the game. So you can level up different things. You can increase your HP stats, you can increase your overall defense, you can increase your overall agility. There is a whole lot of options for you to try. So all of your playthroughs can actually be super different than the last one. And now it's time to use our first CPs. Catch your enemies in a spinning saw sounds good, this one. Powerful attack with smaller range, I don't mind that, melee is good. Certain skills can unlock combat arts which can be used in battle. You can switch between branching skills at any time without spending CP. Well, that's good. There is the option to also tweak the difficulty of the game. If you are like me and you're a novice at puzzles or at combat, there is that option to make it slightly easier for yourself. About difficulty and assist mode, CrossCode is designed with challenges in mind for both combat and puzzles, and we encourage every player to try the game with its intended difficulty. However, if those challenges end up making the game less enjoyable or even inaccessible for you, we provide options to tweak the difficulty through the assist tab in the options menu. Super SNES feels boss battles, which is something I absolutely love. Playing these boss battles in cross code really remind me of the old Super Nintendo games. Dodge it. Okay, great. Nice. Okay. Don't need the potion right now. That's good. Dodge, dodge. Nice. Now quickly, let me just go try to hit that. Okay. Go. Yes! Oh, okay. No, no, no. Dodge it. Okay, there we go. Go. Dodge it. Let's see who's faster. Definitely need that shield. Especially for this. Okay, very good. Dodge. Dodge it. <laughs> Do you guys see, like, my full body movements as I dodge? Like, it involves using your brain. You can't just randomly do it and win. You have to actually think about when you have to dodge, when you have to hit, what you have to do, especially for boss battles. I think I just shoot him down. He only has a little bit of health. Yes! Did I? Yay! High five, guys! In CrossCode, there is a really awesome recap system that you can utilize to reread characters' biographies, and you can read all the details about all the side storylines, main storylines, and all the quests that you've last left off with. So just in case you haven't played for, let's say, a week, a couple of days, you can hop right back in and enjoy the game without forgetting anything at all.
Crosscode is a game that has been really well loved by its community and it has a great fan base with many dedicated fans. And even to this day, two years after the official release of the game in 2018, they still have a very dedicated Discord server where many fans still have fun role-playing or chatting about the game. Mandu! Mandu! I feel like that's the right way to say it. Mandu! Mandu! Mandua! Très bien. Is that correct? Très bien? It's very good. I feel like I could say that a lot if I did go to France. Because I would want to tell everyone everything they tell me is très bien, très bien. Bonjour de m'appelle, Jesse. <gasps> that has to mean that my name... Hi, my name is Jesse because I remember you said your name is Jesse. Bonjour de m'appelle Nova. Bonjour de m'appelle... Je m'appelle. Voila! Le croissant. 